We've got a lot of people on this assigned to this case, and they're not going to stop until we get somebody in handcuffs. I can promise you that. The Bear County Sheriff devoting major resources tonight to track down the shooters who opened fire on a family's home, sadly killing a four year old little girl. That little girl's two siblings and their mom and dad also shot but are expected to recover. It happened around seven o'clock last night on the city's northeast side. News for San Antonio's Robert Price has a look at the new surveillance video that could help investigators to catch the suspects. This was not a drive-by shooting where they shot from the street. They wanted to get out and get up close and personal. Really loud gunshots, just in broad daylight. It was surgical, and the sheriff says it was targeted. And they wanted to empty enough lead into that home to make sure that they took, they inflicted maximum damage, to make sure that they killed somebody. A four-year-old girl was killed. Her mom and dad and her seven and eight-year-old siblings are all in the hospital. All of them shot inside their home off Walsham Road and New World Drive when these two fired 30 rounds from small Draco AK-47 Woodstock rifles. The rounds, as, almost as soon as they come out of that gun, are tumbling. And so when they hit, they hit flat. That's a devastating wound that that makes. So you can imagine that coming in contact with a little girl, four years old. Here's how a neighbor who asked not to be identified described the scene. After the gunshots, we just like immediately just started hearing screaming. I initially just got really scared because I know that area just has a bunch of little kids. Now here's a closer look at the getaway car, what investigators believe to be a dark gray Infinity Q50. The sheriff wants as many people as possible to see these pictures and videos. It's just something that we can't allow to happen anywhere to anyone, uh, much less a four year old child that had nothing to do with anything. As for the surviving victims, they're still in the hospital, but at last check, the sheriff says their condition is improving. Meantime, he says several units, a huge chunk of the sheriff's office, is working to find these shooters. Is it going to give me great pleasure to charge both of these two guys with capital murder when the time comes? Absolutely, it's going to. I can promise you that. Robert Price, News 4, San Antonio.